Hey YouTube, I'm here with a smallish haul. Still a great haul though. Um, I did want to just before I get into the haul, just say that the videos that you're seeing now are a little bit older videos that I didn't know how to edit yet. So I'm you're going to see some older ones and I'm going to start putting in newer ones. It's just some of them were done um, in order, so I kind of wanted to keep them that way. But I just want you to know that a lot of the videos you're seeing now are older videos. Like next week I'll be uploading a Christmas one, one that was done last Christmas. So they're still awesome videos. I just wanted to let you know why they seem so old. But I will throw this new one in just to explain. And I will get going. Um, again, this is a smaller haul. But awesome, awesome finds. I'll start with the first thing was, well, let's start with the clothes items, I guess. Um, so every year on Christmas Eve, now my daughter, as I have said before, is 21. But every year for Christmas Eve, I get her a new outfit to wear for Christmas night. New pajamas or whatever. Um, so... I found these. They are your one piece. Whoops. Footy PJs. And they were, I believe they were three dollars. And they're new at tags. I mean they're only from, I believe, Walmart. Okay, but they're super cute and she only wears them one night. So for that price, I got those for her. And they're really cute. Now let's get into the designer stuff, shall we? The next thing is this Versace shirt. This was $3.98 and pink was half off that day. So let me get a... Doo -doo -doo. Looks like that. It's got Versace down there. And then this is the back. Um, it's super soft. Versace made in Italy. I don't believe this is fake. I'm going to look into it a little more, but it doesn't look or feel fake. So, so this was two dollars. This is the bottom of the Versace shirt, and this is the top. I don't know if this is a men's. Or a woman's. It's kind of fitted. Let me get back here so you can see. It's kind of fitted and it's not, it doesn't, it wouldn't fit any extra large boy I know. So you can tell me what you think if this is. I like it for me. I was going to just keep this for me. With a pair of ripped up jeans or something maybe. I don't know. I might not be able to pull it off. <laughs> um, okay, next was this winter cranberry soap from Bath and Body Works. This was a dollar. It was in like a gift bag. Like somebody must have won it and donated it um, for a dollar. I love my hand soaps. <laughs> uh, this was also a dollar. And it is a BKR water bottle. And these are like super popular right now. Uh, I'll take it out of this. This is just like a little rubber sleeve. You take it out and then I'll boil this and it's glass. And this was 99 cents. I actually saw the exact same one at the Goodwill. Probably about a week prior, two weeks prior, and they wanted four dollars for it. I was like, "Are you crazy?" It's a used water bottle, four dollars. So good things come to those who wait, because <laughs> I did pass on that one. Next, I got this Bodie leather uh, iPad case. Bodie, New York, and these are fairly expensive. Uh, I have a couple of Michael Kors cases. Um, I did have a Kate Spade one, but I bought that one for my daughter. I showed that in a previous video, which you may not have seen once I show this. Um, 
but these are just nice for just when I'm reading a book because they're light. My other Michael Kors ones are more travel with like wallets and stuff in it. So that, oh, sorry. <clears throat> that was $2.50. Uh, next, we'll do coach. I got this, I think it's like a little cell phone case. I don't know, if somebody smoked it would be a good cigarette case. Also has like ID slots and this was two ninety eight. And I mean, it's really, really clean. So that was $3, this is the back. This little spot here, I don't know what that is, but as I've said in other videos, I will just throw this right in the washing machine and get that little mark and that little mark right off. If the washing machine doesn't do it, then I'll do um, my Oxy paste and try that. <clears throat> Next, I found this leather coach belt for $2.50. Authentic coach belt. They had other ones too, but I don't know. I've never really sold a belt, so I didn't want to buy what, what other ones they had. They had some nice ones, um, designer ones too, but I figured I'd stick with that. Um, now, I've said before that I'm not a huge coach fan, but I do have some coach bags and I will be keeping this. I love this. It's such a good color for um, winter coming up. It does have this little pen mark and because it is patent leather that's not going to come out but it's really not a big deal because it's only right there. Uh, and I knew this was Coach right away when I saw this. Here's the inside and this was... $3.98. A super clean inside. And then it's got this back zipper, but it's really, really pretty. I love I love this like I guess it's like a wine color. And it's not a small tiny wristlet. It's just the perfect size. So I'm happy and I will be keeping that. Uh, <clears throat> this was actually inside of it and they told me to keep it, but I like to get these because sometimes I find things that are missing the strap, so I like to pick up extra straps. Now this, <laughs> I seen the name right away and I was like, what the heck? So this is a Dolce & Gabbana teapot purse. And it has all the, it's so hard to get that. It's like a little change purse. And it is authentic. And I paid 49 cents for this. I just thought it was funny. So, I mean, I got a lot of designer, high-end designer stuff this shopping trip. With the Versace and the Dolce. And then this. <clears throat> oh, shoot. These are all from... Everything here was from Amvets. Except for this. This was from a little... Um, this was from the City Mission thrift store. And this was 50 cents. Um, this was two ninety eight, And I have seen a bazillion of fake Fendi bags. But when I saw it, I was like, I don't think this is fake. And after doing some research, it's not, but oh, I don't know if you can see that here. The only thing wrong with it is this. And I will take it to um, my cobbler guy that fixes stuff. But otherwise, it's in really good condition. It's got a little spot right there, which is, is not a big deal. And I'm not the only one that does this in my area. There's lots of women that do it, and actually a few men too. So I don't think they realized that this was real. Here's the Fendi made in Italy. And does this have a... I can't 
can't remember if this had a serial number. Oh yeah, here. There's the serial number. And this was, this would cost me $5 to fix. And this was $2.98. So for $3, a Fendi pouchette, baguette, something, something like that. And then it says Fendi here. <clears throat> so it's a cute little size bag. I don't like these kind of bags. If it was a wristlet, I would do it. And maybe I could talk to the guy to fix it as a wristlet. Now, I showed this in another video. This Dior Crossbody City bag. And it had... That side had broke off. I bought this at a garage sale for $4 because this side was off. And I got it fixed for 5 bucks from my cobbler guy. I get so many compliments on it. I love this bag. <clears throat> uh, okay, my last two items are these. Donald, and this is just, this will come off. Because these are like a suede-ish. Um, Donald Pliner boot. And these were $9.98 and they were half off that day. These were $5 or something. And they're super cute. Donald Pliner is a very expensive brand. <clears throat> so I'll see if my daughter wants them first before I sell them. But those were roughly about $5. Um, this last one, again, so, okay, my Goodwills have gotten insane with their prices. But now they're actually starting to come down again. Um, <clears throat> for instance, like I said... They wanted $20 for a Liz Claiborne purse. Like, what? But they're starting to come down again. And again, they do miss things. And I stopped going for a while. I went a couple times and I found things. So I will keep them again in the rotation. I just won't be expecting much. But anyways, this coach purse I found at the Goodwill. Um, it's a crossbody. <clears throat> and... It wasn't marked, you know, like it has some pink stuff here, but I've already wiped off most of it. I, I'm going to actually do a video to show cleaning it. Um, small bags, if they're unmarked, are $2.50. So I got this bag for $2.50. And here's the Creed, which most small bags don't have Creed. So I don't know if this is a newer bag or what because even the older bags had the made in China it was a little cloth sticker and now it is a little rubber sticker like uh, Michael Kors so this coach bag was two dollars and fifty cents and that's all I have today um, thank you so much for watching I appreciate all the comments and subscribers i will be doing a giveaway soon i'm um, just trying to figure everything out but i can't wait to share more finds with you thanks so much